Hello there everyone. Uh, how are y'all doing today? This is uh, Nash and Decker Media Productions and we would like to I'd like to talk we would both like to talk to you today about something very special that uh, this is Art Nash here and uh, he created he created something and he'd like to talk about it. Now who are you? Oh I think I, I think I Margie Margie Don't I'm, tell him. Margie Decker and I'm uh, Art Nash's business manager. And she's a good one by the way. Thank so, you. Uh, you want me to go ahead and tell them what's going on here? Yes, uh, what you had created a long time ago. Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, say I'm honored to be uh, on the Drummer's Cafe, uh, and I'm grateful that I can talk to all you drummers. Uh, I'll give you a quick history here, quickly, about myself. Uh, I started playing drums in about 1962. And uh, <clears throat> I've had seven drum kits in my life, give you a quick background. And I uh, started with Apollo, went to Slayerland and other forms, and ended up on Rogers, and now I play Mapex, which is a beautiful new kit. And uh, during that time, <clears throat> I had the good fortune of running into some good friends, Terry Talbot, John Talbot, Tim Ayers, and uh, the four of us uh, were in a band in Indianapolis, Indiana, very popular cover band called Sounds Unlimited and uh, through contacts that Terry and John Talbot had in Chicago in 1967 we switched from being a cover band to being a country rock band and actually we're one of the first country rock bands ever in America called Mason Prophet and uh, we did uh, five or six albums for Happy Tiger Records, Ampex Records, and then finally Warner Brothers picked us up uh, later on in our career. We were together from about 1967 to 1973. We did about 1,500 concerts with the likes of Jethro Tull, Pink Floyd, James Taylor, uh, you name it. Who In those days, everyone, uh, there were 50 to 25 festivals around the country every summer. So we were on every festival and we played and opened for all these bands around the world. And uh, so that went on and then I continued on in the, the 80s, 90s uh, with other drum projects. So <clears throat> now what I've come to share with you is a very interesting project. I, in 19, uh, about 1990, uh, I had a dream and this dream, uh, Johann Sebastian Bach came to me in my dream and said, uh, I hear you're looking for something to do. And I was, I was, uh, I couldn't find a way to, I couldn't find a band at the time. And I was going a little stark raving mad as all you drummers know what it's like when you don't have a band. And because it's hard for a drummer to not have a band and play. You can't be alone, you gotta have somebody. So Bach came to me and said, hey, how would you like to do something that you couldn't even dream of? What you're dreaming, what is it? I said, sir. And he said, we're going to call it Bach and Roll. And uh, what happened was this. <clears throat> I really hadn't heard classical music too much, but I went back and started, I got a greatest hits of Bach and uh, started listening for his songs. He does, he's probably one of the few classical composers, actually he's the father of classical music, who actually wrote in 4-4, if you can get through the three or four hundred changes that he has in a song to get to it. And uh, I actually, uh, I did that and uh, I started to record uh, his songs with an orchestra, a synthesizer, and a piano. And uh, one of the cuts that we're going to, Margie will tell you about here, is a piano concerto which we all heard it just goes that repetitively like going up the scale and uh, when I decided to do this cut with drums I said to myself Margie well, how am I, what am I going to play over this little piano da, 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 like that uh -huh. and uh, I got this wild idea I'll do a drum solo over a piano concerto <clears throat> so that's the cut that you're going to explain how they can see now I wanted to share with you quickly in Bach and Roll the primary difference in what I did and what may uh, be done today in different formats 
is I didn't bring Bach's music to the to the present. Uh, I actually went back 300 years. Now I did use a synthesizer uh, on some of the, a couple of the cuts, and I, I admit that. But the premise was to go back 300 years and uh, sit in with Bach with a set of drums. So with that in mind, I wanted to share also why I did it in addition to the keep my sanity. I needed something to do. So I had discovered that classical music had a very positive influence on my life. How about you? Yes. Oh, yes. Very, Think very, so? yes. Very positive. And look around us today in this world, in this country, in the, uh, the United States, and I saw children. And I saw children not having any influence of classical music anymore. And I said, you know, we need to introduce classical music to the children again. Well, children won't listen to it, but when you hear what I did to it with a set of drums, they will listen, and they did listen, and they do listen. So I did it for the children, because I feel that any kind of classical influence on you, the drummer out there, me, the drummer here, Margie, the manager there, children, anyone of any age, would increase the productivity of your life and really give you more of a spiritual nature of what you know life is all about. So uh, that's a little bit about how I did it. I did do a CD's worth of material called Bach and Roll, Volume 1. And uh, one of the cuts on it, Margie's going to tell you about, the one I mentioned, and uh, you can go listen to it. And what I'd like to ask you to do, as I listen to what you're doing and you're, what, who, what, uh, what you have to speak of, which is not always drumming. I appreciate. Uh, it was a gentleman you spoke about test, te uh, testicular cancer. About yeah, testicular cancer. Testicular cancer on the. On the uh, yeah, drummer's one drummer cafe. to another. I'm sure nutrition is on there and all types of things. Yeah, on the drummer's cafe, different different. On the drummer's parts. cafe. But Art Nash, me, I'm sharing the concept of Bach and Roll. If you uh, are interested in uh, learning how to do this, I, uh, I am going to turn you over to my manager and tell you, she can tell you how you'd like to do it. But I wanted to, first of all and foremost, thank everybody for being a drummer out there. I love you all. Uh, if you wanted to check any of my work out, just go to masonprofit.com. And you can see me playing drums with a band, and uh, there's other things that I've done. But now I'm a songwriter, primarily. But Bach and Roll is something that I hope you enjoy. I want you to be part of with me. If anybody wants to learn how to do it, it is a tedious task, but it is very rewarding. Uh, so I want to thank everybody in the Drummer's Cafe for drumming, for being out there, for allowing me to come to you and say hello. And with that, I'd like to turn you over to my manager Margie Deckard I call her MD uh, and this is Nash and Deckard Media Productions so Margie with that would you please give them your scoop on how we can all get together okay very good uh, thank you Art certainly um, for explaining about Bach and Rome do you have any questions that I might have missed? Um, yes <clears throat> you you said you said that not many people can do what you did with the drums and the classical music together. Is, right. is that, is that is I don't that think anybody's right? ever done what I did, and a lot of people say that they has, but I have never heard anybody go back 300 years and sit in with the band because what it takes to learn these songs, uh, the piano, piano concerto is simple, but the drum solo you'll hear over it is not so simple. Uh, but one of the cuts, uh, number one on the album, uh, has approximately 350 changes while there's a 4-4 beat going through it. So to learn it, there's a technique that you have to endure to learn his, uh, his uh, format. Johann Sebastian Bach, who was born in Litzburg, Germany. He's a German. So uh, with that in mind, I, I, I do welcome anybody who thinks they've heard this before. and. Uh, but at this point, I've never heard anybody do it but me. So, like what Art is saying to you, he's not heard much that, you know, you don't hear drums together with uh, uh, classical music. Not like you're sitting in. Yeah. I'm just sitting in with a, a huge orchestra playing his songs. No one has ever, uh, 
really done that kind of a thought. So, uh, yeah, I still stand by that. So, Art Nash, if you're all up for the challenge, uh, <clears throat> and if you think you can, you know, maybe do what Art's uh, explaining or discussing or talking about, then uh, we would like to hear it. Yeah. But if you... Uh, we would like to challenge you uh, to do that if you're up for the challenge. To, really? We'd like to listen to your uh, to your composition. Your, and uh, send your comments. And send your comments. Now, how can they hear the sample song? You can go to my website, www.margiesinformation.blogspot.com, and just click on Art Nash. Uh, just click on. The Mason Prophet cover, you'll see that, the cover. You click on that, and that's Art Nash's biographies in there, and everything that, uh, and the video today will be on there too as well. Beautiful. And, uh, and you can listen to the, the eighth song on, on, which is on the album of Bach and Roll, the eighth song. And uh, we'd like you to go there, and uh, we'd like to hear from you. Yeah, the number eight song. Yeah, the number eight There's song. eight songs on the CD, Bach and Roll Volume 1. Number eight, yes. I chose to introduce first, is the Piano Concerto. It's a less complicated version of all the other cuts, but it's a drum solo or a, 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 one, uh, a single finger playing uh, a, a scale, going up the scale. So I thought you might be of interest, uh, of interest uh, would be interesting to a drummer hearing how a drummer plays a solo over a single note piano concerto to, uh, going up the scale. And that's, and that's the, a great song, the number eight. <clears throat> so like I said, there are eight songs on the, the album, Bach and Roll, but the uh, number eight song is what you'll hear. And also, the album will, is, uh, is, uh, is, on sa is, sale, is on sale too. It's, it's $10 for the whole album, if you like what you hear. So, I uh, hope you all have a good day, and uh, and thank you for uh, listening and watching. Yeah, look forward to hearing your comments. Uh, we plan on coming back and sharing more thoughts with you in the future, and I'm listening to your comments on the Drummer's Cafe, and I'm very proud to be part of it with everybody, and I know Margie is too. Yes. And we will give you, uh, again, tell her the, block, the, the site to go to to see the number eight, to, to the number eight cut and see this video. Okay, uh, www.margiesinformation.blogspot.com uh, and click on art, the cover, uh, whatever happened, or the cover of uh, uh, Mason Prophet. And just click on that and that'll open up and the biographies in there and other information about Art Nash. Okay. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful day. Yes.